No drive. So we're at Glass House yesterday. We noticed a couple of problems. One was the wheel bearing. That's stuffed. Caught that one pretty early. The other one we found was a CV shaft that's not got much CV left in it. And then like always, your blade arms are cracking. So they crack from the flex, so that's what made us turn around yesterday. And it's all fixed now. And we're going back out to Glass House again to break something else. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Because why not? So we're back out of Glass House, at the playground. Just changed the tie rod end. Bad. Stirring act in. Because they haven't been spending all day fixing the car already just to come out here. And deflated the tyres. Quicker than it took him to deflate all four tyres. Ryan and his Triton. And Jacob, his son. Hey, who was the one that just so, yeah. busted the bracket? Check what it's oh. There's something wrong with that deflator, it shouldn't take that long. Anyway, we're gonna have some fun here and then maybe do the Western Power Line track. I think that was a rear diff or CV. Yeah, you will, you win this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. well, what happened? I got no. No drive. I've broken a CV. Drive. No drive. One downfall to a Ford Territory is, if you blow one CV, the car goes nowhere. And we literally just changed the CV shaft on the other side. And we didn't do this side because I wanted to come out here and have some fun. And now it looks like we're doing another CV shaft on the side of the road, which we've got to go pick up first. So, that's my life. I'm going to try hit that first. You try it. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, let's see yeah, if you can break a CV, eh? <laughs> yeah. well, only my front, man. That's the only problem. Yeah, yeah. bugger. Oh well. You get your tow system sorted, mate. I'll uh, head up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, fucking lucky you were here. So I pulled my diff apart, trying to figure out, thinking it must have been something in there. But then, like you watched the video, and Tyler was clever enough to figure it out, that the shaft was spinning, this shaft was spinning, but the wheel wasn't moving, so I was sort of like, it had to be in the CV. I don't, yeah, dumb move on my part. But um, we had a, I got this one out of, so I bought a cradle when I was going to Melbourne, I bought a cradle. And it was meant to be a complete territory cradle and it is a 410 diff. We just have a look at that just to check that it wasn't out of a freaking Falcon or something. But these are V8. So it's a standard V8. Oh, take that light off this thing. Is it, oh no. You can't, yeah. Hard to fucking see it, isn't it? There you go. Yeah. So there you go, it says a V8 left hand side shaft. And this is one of my eBay shafts. So these are the cheap eBay ones. 
Now, even side by side, like if that's a V8 shaft and this is an Evo shaft, look at the size difference in them. There's heaps different. But we also checked the lengths. These are longer. So at full travel, I don't pop them out. With this one, if you have a look, what I've done is as soon as it dropped down full travel when I went up the hill, it's maxed it out, shared the pin, and shared the CV out of the cup. So that's what's gone wrong. So I got asked the other day, have I tried V8 drive shafts? <laughs> I no longer will because they're shorter, so you can't get the travel. So, so V8 shafts would be an option in a lowered territory, yeah. even like a high power street territory. Yeah, if you're lowering the car, V8 shafts are good because they're slightly not, shorter. Not an off-road territory. But not an off-road territory. The only reason I replaced this shaft is because of the TV inside there. Because the boot split, because mud builds up on the sway bar mounts and I never bothered replacing it, so I thought while well, I was in there, I was going to replace it. Now I really wish I hadn't, because if I hadn't, we could have been driving still. But live and learn. Live and learn. Lucky Tyler was here. Diff's out now. Locker's going in. So locker's going in. Just got to build a tool to undo it. Man, I wish I'd known that. So. Oh, fuck. Yeah, bugger. Oh well. It happens. Good excuse to put a locker in. And we're going to do that now. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start on doing that now. Uh.